Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Penguin and welcome back to Farm Simulator 15 Mod Show. Now I know it's been some time since the last Mod Show and I do apologise for that. Uh, we're back and today we have a harvester. It's a, it's a small harvester, it's not a big one. And ignore that, that is part of something else that I'm probably going to look at later. Um... Here it is, the Class Dominator AAS, uh, £61,000, £670 a day, 114 kilowatt, 150, oh, sorry, <laughs> nope, so it's £61,000, £105 a day, 190 kilowatt, 162 horsepower, 4,500 litre capacity, does your normal fruit types, uh, ignore the rent price, that's another mod, it's a rental mod, uh, I'm not going to look at that in a mod show, basically, you click that, and you can rent it, and sometimes it works out cheaper than if you wanted to buy it, and if you, so if say if you, you were doing forage harvesting, and you were only going to use it for a couple of hours, it'd be better to rent it than buy it, because then you're spending less money, um, so yeah, there you go, so that's that, let's buy that, it comes with its own head, uh, I imagine it's in here, here it is, the Class C420, £19,000, £69 a day, 45 meter head, sweet. So if we just compare it to the in-game one, uh, this is 4.2, so this is the closest, um, this one that we're looking at is a little bit bigger, so yeah. Here we are, she's an old one, uh, she's not the newest of machines, is only if there's a number plate on the back, like could have the year on. Uh, nah. So, just to let you know, when you download this, you get two in, in the zip file. You get two zip files. One must be just for the harvester, and one must just be for the head. Why they're not together? I uh, well, they are together. They're within the same download, but they're not within the same. They're not. The two files aren't packed together into one. If that makes sense, you open up one file and in there there's two. Instead, of open it, open up one file and there'd be one file in there. Uh, no idea. I don't know why you'd want the harvester without the head or the head without a harvester. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so if you do go and get this, providing it's it's good and it works, just know that you need the two the two files in the zip file when you download it. So let's check the clipping. Oh, nice, I don't clip through the back. Very nice. Very nice. Now I've just seen something on here. Key keypad seven. Oh. Perhaps I need to go in ah, maybe. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is neat. Right, let's turn it on, see what it's saying. In fact, let's have a look at the interior first. Wow, very, very basic, but with the uh, the age of this thing, oh, well, you can tell it's old. I mean, look at it. I mean, nice, rusty textures, and just the style of it um, it's not very it doesn't look very modern uh, you can tell this is an old harvester uh, yeah very basic um, which is sometimes is nice um, it's nice not to have your face covered with LCD displays you know everywhere yeah this is nice so let's start her up see what she sounds like Nice. Now, so there's seven and eight. So you, you climb up. So it's that's from the beginning. You pull down the ladder if it's been parked in the shed. Open the door. Pull the ladder up. Oh, perhaps. Uh, well, it does click through. That's a bit weird. 
you pull the ladder up first, then get in and shut the door. Cool. Uh, unfold. That's it. So it's your uh, your grain tank. Now left control. Why? Oh, apparently. Oh, it's just auto combine controls. Uh, no. Register harvester. Oh! What the hell? <laughs> oh, it's disappeared. Where's it gone? I don't know, it's disappeared. Let me, uh. Might have to sell that. I want to register the harvester. I want to give it a number plate. That would be pretty neat. Here it is. No! Oh, it's, it's, it's there now. Left control. Right, so apparently we can register it. Ah! So and if I can put penguin. P E uh, uh, I guess these are uh, Berlin. This is the only one I know. Oh I've heard of uh Bayern. Uh E N uh, E N G U I R I'm gonna just enough. Oh hang on. Oh these are number oh no. There we go. Look at that. Oh, hang on. What's this? In fact, if I, uh... E, uh, what can I do with this? I can just... Uh, aha! That penguin. So now... Oh, well... Um, hmm. I mean, why has it put the uh, the dot? I forgot what they call the dots above the U. Um, why has it done that? And if that was the uh, standard long number plate instead of it being square, I mean that'll look better. P E penguin. Pe penguin. <laughs> That's cool. Right. See how uh, turning this thing is, Gus. I imagine it's a bit different to normal harvests. Look at this smoke coming out. That's nice. Let's unfold that. We need to put the uh, ladder up. The ladder up. There's a mirror down there. I don't know if you can see that. There, it is. Uh, there is one this side, we can't see it because of the ladder. Uh, there. If I, I don't know if I'll be able to see that mirror at all. Nah. Anyway, let's pick this head up. Cool, right, I want to have a look see if we've got uh, turn signals and whatever. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six is front working light. Seven, eight, obviously no. S seven, eight, nine, do that. Uh, beacons. Oh, it has a beacon. Cool. Right, let's see how fast this thing goes. Thirteen miles per hour. Cool. Right. Let's have a look at the. Uh, Oh, that sounds so cool! 
Listen to that. Makes a creaking, squeaky noise. Obviously, it's uh, you know, need some WD-40 on it. Squeaking. That's so cool. Hear the RPMs of the. Uh, it's own custom sound. I like that. Right. Let's see if it harvests. We can disable the straw swath. We're not going to. Because I think these old style harvesters didn't have the uh, the ability. They didn't have choppers on them and that. Basically, uh, all, the only thing you had was on Strasworth and usually back then farms weren't so big so people collected the straw you had more animals so yeah but that that's cool only a small grain tank but it's only a small harvester so yeah uh Quite a loud bit of machinery, but then yet again, it would be the engines weren't like they are now. Quieter, or loud machines. Yeah, that's cool. Can I adjust the head height? Uh, just check. Yep. Uh, even though it. Doesn't give you the option on the uh, thing. You can indeed move it up and down, like so. But yep, that is the class Domina 88S, the class C420. Get away from that, it's quite loud. Uh, so, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to leave it. I'm going to run all over here because it's going to get really loud in again, uh, again in a minute. That is the Class Dominator 88S old style harvester, pretty nice uh, for your old style farms. Wouldn't really be suited here, it's, I think it's too small for this farm. But yeah, definitely nice. Uh, nice mod I'll put the link in the description I definitely do recommend it cause yeah, it's nice it works uh, not really spotted any major problems with it so yeah it's good to go anyway that is it for now thank you for watching please like favorite add subscribe and I'll see you next time for some more Family Simulator 15 mods ta -ra.